guys, uh, today we're going to talk about the taxonomy query, tax query, okay? Um, so let's just start. So basically, if you go back to the website, wilrix.net, you can see that like we did for the other one, um, which was the meta query. Okay, similarly, we, will, we can do the tax query for taxonomies. Okay, and then similarly, we can define relation between two arrays. If we are passing two conditions, we can pass one condition in one array and the other one in different array. And we can also use multi multi-dimensional array to, uh, you know, define multiple conditions. So, what we can do is, um, if you check, over here okay so we're passing an argument in an array okay which is post type post post per page 10 this I'll discuss in some time and then this is an object of WP query class and we're passing this argument into it and then we are doing while query have post the post and then we have the div uh, and we are displaying the title the title of, which is this Uh, sorry, which is this one, the title of the post, and then we are displaying the category with the category function of WordPress, and then we are displaying the tags, categories and tags using the category and tags function, and then we are doing end while and resetting the query over here. Okay, and um, so what we want to do is uh, basically these are the posts. Uh, which have different categories over here. So if you go back into your admin, you can see that these are the posts with these categories and these tags that we have defined. And this is what is being displayed over here. So what we want to do is that we want to display the categories, uh, sorry, the posts uh, with titles and other information uh, like category and tags. The ones which have the taxonomy category uh, with the slug of movies okay uh, so for that what we can do is we can do tax query like we did meta query similarly we can do tax query and then array and then pass in an array and the first field is taxonomy and taxonomy is category and how do we know that if you go to WP term taxonomy you can see it's the category is the taxonomy okay and field slug so we are trying to search it uh, via slug so if you go to categories and if you check for movies this slug is movies this is in small letters okay so that's where we get that okay and operator in so you've done this before right and then we're saying include children so as we know that categories uh, have an option of defining parents. I haven't defined any so far, but then uh, by defining the include children uh, property as in means that you know uh, not in actually it should be true. Yeah, so this should be true. So if you doing include children true, which means if you have any if the if this particular category which is movies has any children uh, you know it's going to show those posts as well all right cool so let's just save that and see if that works yep so as you can see that we are getting the post title and all other information for the post uh, which have the category the taxonomy category and the slug as movies so we have movies here we have movies here we have movies here and so on yep great <clears throat> now what if you want to you know have multiple conditions so for example if you wanted to include uh, you know the category slug as movies and also uh, post uh, the tags slug as thriller so you know you have these tags as well yeah you have these tags what if I wanted uh, the post which have categories as movies and the tags as thriller okay so for that we can define another array like this like we've done before and um, taxonomy is post tag so remember that for tags the taxonomy is post tag it's not tag 
if you see go and go to the database you can see that the taxonomy for the tags is called post tag and not just tag okay and then we are using the slug uh, and we checking the, if the slug is in thriller okay so if you go to tags and go to thriller quick edit you can see that this is a slug is thr thriller okay so we are saying that get me all the post details uh, which have got the category slug as movies uh, including the children obviously here we don't have to define children because you know the tags don't have an option of children uh, they don't have option of parent so they don't have hierarchy okay so we're saying that you know get me all the post details with the category slug as movies and tag slug as thriller okay so we can also define the relation over here as we already know we can do that and we know that by default the value of this is and which is why we don't have to define it over here but let's just do that for now um, right cool <clears throat> let's refresh the page and as we can see we've got the categories uh, with the post with the category slug as movies and the tag slug as thriller you're getting only those and if we change this to or if we change the relationship to or which means display all the post details with the category slug as movies or po uh, tag slug as thriller so as you can see that this has got the movies that's why it's displayed this has got thriller and movies that's why it's displayed it's just got thriller it's displayed and so on okay cool perfect now all of this information is defined over here onto this site we check tax query relation taxonomy uh, this is our custom taxonomy color this okay and then field slug you can also use ID over here and then terms uh, whatever terms you know you want to uh, check for include children can be true or false and operator in okay and similarly for the other one as well this is with the ID this is with the slug okay so let's say we want to you know do a custom query uh, for our taxonomies for our custom um, taxonomy okay so for that what we can do is we can uh, download and activate this uh, plugin called tool set types okay so if you go to plugins add new tool set types So you can this is the first one I've already activated it toolset type custom post types custom fields and taxonomy so you can go ahead and download and activate it I've already done that it's showing over here so what this helps you to do is this helps you to create new custom taxonomy so what I've done is I've clicked on taxonomy and I have uh, gone ahead and added some new taxonomy so from here I've done add new and then you entered the name of the taxonomy here uh, then which for example I've done it like genres singular is genre and the slug automatically comes as genre and then I've selected post over here then I've selected hierarchical because I'm doing it for a category like a custom taxonomy okay and then I've saved it once I've saved it uh, I've got this as genre in the post so like we have taxonomy like categories and tags similarly we have taxonomy of genre okay so once uh, I come over here I have gone ahead and added new taxonomy uh, like crime drama and sci-fi and I've gone to posts and I have gone ahead and added these into my post these custom taxonomies so these are similar to your categories itself these so but just a custom ones okay so once I've added that we, um, you know we can do another custom query so we can say 
if you want to have all the uh, let's say facts so let's just remove this yeah so let's say um, we want to have the taxonomy genre so remember that this time our taxonomy name is genre it's not category it's not post tag it's genre because this is a custom taxonomy so um, I'm saying that you know taxonomy is genre field type this time I'm taking it as term ID I'm not taking it as slug I'm taking it as term ID and how do I get to know the term ID yes you've guessed it right you go to genre uh, you go to that particular uh, you know uh, so for example, I want to do it for, let's say, 120 drama, and I want to do it for crime. So crime, as you can see over here, when I hover over it, it's 21, and this is ID is 20. So I can just define it over here, 2021, include children, and I can do true over here. So I'm not defining any children yet, but then, you know, just in case, just to tell you, there is a option available like this to include it. We can put it as false in case if we don't want to include the children of this taxonomy uh, and operator in. So we're saying that, you know, get me all the post with under the taxonomy genre with the term ID as 21 and 22. So let's just save that and refresh the page. All right, so as you can see, we've got the post, uh, which have got the taxonomy as drama. Yeah, so it's not showing over here uh, because I'm not, you know, displaying that option, but you can understand that's what it is doing. Okay, so let's paste more. Okay, so we can again, you know, do multiple conditions as well. We can say that get me all the post which have the category slug as movies and genre term ID as 20 and 21. So it's going to get go and get me that as well. Okay. Brilliant. So that's about it. Um, you can play around with this. And in the next tutorial, we'll discuss further. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.